The Bellagio is the quintessential upscale Vegas choice for a first-timer, because of its mid-strip location, great people watching, and, of course, fountains of Bellagio. Stay here and watch them dance to pop and classical tunes from your window or on TV in your room. Opened in 1998, the Vegas Mainstay is recommended by our experts for foodies, luxury lovers and newbies. The lobby boasts a spectacular Dale Chelly chandelier incorporating 2,000 hand-blown, glass blossoms. The conservatory and botanical gardens host whimsical, seasonally themed displays using live flowers, trees and greenery. The over-the-top décor is constantly being updated, and is a free public space. You'd be cheating yourself and your sweet tooth if you didn't check out the world's largest chocolate fountain. The casino offers table games, slots, poker, a race and sports book, and free gambling lessons. Cirque du Soleil constructed a custom theater for its resident show O. The title O is a play on words derived from the concept of infinity, with zero, zero, as its purest expression, and from the phonetic pronunciation of O, the French word for water. The production creates a timeless dream state and also incorporates an aquatic dimension that figuratively and literally evokes all of the meanings, from baptism to boat passage, that water holds for us. With a roster of fine restaurants, Bellagio ushered in the era of celebrity chefs in Vegas when it opened October 1998, nearly 15 years ago. Jean Georges von Drutten has his prime steakhouse here, Michael Mina's namesake restaurant boasts its caviar cart, and Todd English's Olives serves up flatbread pizzas. Le Cirque does a pre-theater dinner for Cirque du Soleil's O under the big top that ensures guests will get in and out with a three-course dinner before showtime. Served from 5.30 to 6.15 p.m. for $72 with an optional $30 wine pairing, the dinner runs through the hits of the restaurant such as Tartare de Beauf, Steak Tartare, or Habuki, Japanese Yellowtail, for appetizers, Filet de Loupe de Mer, a sea bass filet, or Cur de Filet de Beauf, thick cut beef filet, for entrees and ends with a dessert fantasy. Jasmine serves the best brunch in town, with cuisines representing every restaurant at the resort and also the must-order Peking duck. The party crowd heads to Yellowtail Japanese Restaurant and Lounge for Korea-born Akira Back's contemporary take on Asian fare. Even the Bellagio Buffet is decadent, now serving caviar. The Bellagio is home to 20 retail shops as well. Browse name brands from Chanel to Giorgio Armani. The Bellagio Gallery of Fine Art celebrates the works of some of the most important female artists of the 18th, 19th and 20th centuries in its most recent exhibit, Painting Women, works from the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. Modern family star Sofia Vergara jetted into open intimate, now two-year-old club Hyde Bellagio in an enviable location overlooking the fountains of Bellagio. The sleek, Philippe Stark design space, with a much expanded terrace, does duty as a subdued lounge until 10 p.m. after that it evolves into a thumping insider scene for industry folk as well as Vegas and LA influencers. High and the Bank nightclub boasts a glass encased dance floor and European bottle service in over 6,000 square feet of space. The $5,000 a night, 
4,000 square foot presidential suite features a solarium with a private garden and fountain, his and her boardrooms and two king bedrooms. Dine with a scenic view from the presidential suite bar. Bathrooms in the resort tower King Indigo rooms at the Bellagio feature an imported Italian marble bath with a soaking tub. The meditation room at Bellagio Spa and Salon has slowly changing LED lights, keeping you stimulated but soothed as you wait for your treatments. Bellagio Spa comes equipped with men and women only hot tubs and saunas, swimsuit optional. Bellagio's decadent pool area features cabanas, lounges, daybeds and a bar.